Okay. Let's see here. So, uh, story-wise, we... The character, main character, the Luminary, just defeated a monster that was a guardian of the witch of the forest. This witch apparently cast Sn Sniffleheim into a frozen blizzard, right? We went into the forest looking for this this witch and the monster. We found the monster, also found Sir Hendrik, the knight from Heliodor, who is chasing us. Basically, indirectly with his help, we killed the monster. Then the witch showed up, froze us in place, our party rescued us, and then we passed out. This is the day after, I'm assuming, we just woke up. Whoa! Um... <laughs> uh, AH, yes. Levi, yes, crazy support. And Levi gifting four more subs. <laughs> Dude! Gifting another four subs ha with the message, sorry, I had to hit the 90 kappa. <laughs> Dude, you're insane. Thank you so much for the four additional gifted subs for your continued support of Lucid's Legion. For we are many. Dude. Uh. So you are f Be quiet, game. Dude, thank you so much. 90 gifted subs. Absolutely insane, dude. Uh, yeah, absolutely insanity, bam, for sure. Those even numbers. <laughs> Stop <laughs> stocking, gifting two more subs. <laughs> Let's welcome in some people. Uh, Su Sunny Kiva, 11. Shin Fix. Uh, can't say that one. Nook and Cranny. Uh, J Wish Z's and PT Thunder. <laughs> absolutely insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane. Thank you all so much. Y'all are. I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking me enough and liking the content enough to throw your money at the screen. I greatly appreciate that. Um,. Just know it's never needed. I appreciate everyone if they sub, not, or talk, not, lurk, whatever. Y'all being here is amazing, but stocking, Levi, bam. Thank y'all so much for subbing today and gifting all those subs. I, I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? Uh, yeah, we're feeling better. Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Uh. Ah, but forgive me, I have not introduced myself. Oh, this is the scholar that we saw on the way in. I am Snorri, scholar of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffleheim solid. Okay, it was fair. luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared, or I too would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. Apex, thank you for reminding me. During all of that, Apex also had a highlighted message of where he's going on his cruise. Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, Dominican Republic, and the Bahamas. Dude, that sounds amazing. Get it. Get it, Apex. That sounds awesome. Phil, welcome in, man. The witch's name is Cristalinda. Cristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes... A mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. The book was hidden away safely in the royal library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. The book was hidden safely. The royal library. We were there yesterday early by accident. Have you learned this? I tried to go and see the book for myself. Alas, the library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. 
Okay, so it sounds like we're going to that library again. Cool. We know oh, where hello. that's at. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. Yeah, for those just joining us, question of the day, what's your favorite winter tradition? So not necessarily holiday, just the uh, for the colder months, the winter. Or, now I was going to go with the colder months because I'm only really used to having people in the Northern Hemisphere in my chat, but now that fireflies here in Australia, because in Australia, I guess like Christmas time would be our winter months, but then it's warm there? Firefly, it's it's summer during Christmas for y'all, right? Actually, better question. Firefly, I don't really know much about Australia or Australian culture. Do you celebrate Christmas? I guess that's the better question. Put a sock in it, Snorri! <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. AH with the hundred bits with the message, hey, I gotta join in the support train. AH, thank you so much for the hundred bits. That is greatly appreciated, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, stocking enjoys ice fishing. Nice. I've never been ice fishing before. This sounds it sounds hard. Is it hard stocking? Simi make mass you mass make cookies and mail them out? Aw. That's wholesome. I like that, Simmy. It is high on a plateau to the east of here, but we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we? Thank you all so much for the support. I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, AH and everybody else. Y'all are awesome. <sighs> yeah, for me, it, it was... Going to see Christmas lights with the wifey. Um, be it just driving around a random neighborhood, be it going down the river walk or otherwise. Kind of going down, just kind of being in the moment and spending time with her. We haven't done it in a few years, but that's more on me than anything else. For some reason, I always have an excuse or have had an excuse not to do it the past couple years and AH with the additional five bits I'm gonna add some more just cuz <laughs> thank you so much AH and I I think this year I really want to try to not let myself make excuses you know what I mean chat when you you want to do something you know you're going to enjoy doing the thing and yet you make an excuse for why you shouldn't do it y'all ever do that i struggle with that that's something i struggle with hmm why is that one asleep Hundred and eleven damage. I wonder if Jade is doing more damage to these mechs because her spear is lightning based. I wonder. So it's just as tough as regular fishing, it's just a lot colder. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we didn't get this cutscene last time. The other switch is blinking to the life. Looks like Lucid can use them now. So this is one big puzzle house. Okay. Okay. I'm down for that. Let's find us our next switch then, which is over there. Levi, ice fishing is easier in your opinion? 
Oh, so there's like less skill after you cut the hole. But I guess my question is, how hard is it to cut the hole? I feel like... I feel like I'd mess it up. I'll be honest. I feel like I'd mess it up. Oh, nice. We got another password from one of our tackles. Good. Good, good. <laughs> these these shadows were okay, a part we of a boss fight earlier in the game. That's kind of cool. Bill watching a Christmas story. That's a good one. That's a good one. An auger, Levi? Manual is different. Will be an electric or gas auger. I'm guessing an auger is some kind of knife? Some kind of big serrated knife thing? Nothing over there. Ha! <laughs> Phil, don't shoot your eye out. It's true. You gotta be careful. I remember my parents bought me a BB gun. Uh, back when I was, I don't know, 10? 11? Something about that. And I ended up getting mad one day and yelling at my sister that I was going to shoot her with my BB gun. Again, this is when I was like 10 or 11. So then before I even had a chance to even shoot it for the first time, my parents took it away and I never actually got to shoot it. So yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I had, I actually had a lot of anger issues when I was a child. It's something that I had to work through uh, growing up. Like nowadays, I don't really get angry, personally. Um, Score one for the good I, guys. I'm slow to anger. I, but when I do get mad, it's, it's pretty bad. It is, <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> so. Oh, this. So, it's probably good that my parents took it away when I was a kid before I learned how to uh, control my emotions a bit more, you know? A sad story you've heard in a while. Interesting stocking. So it's, for you, it's more about <sighs> Professor Saurus. Okay, here <laughs> it's we a go. dragon professor. This thing's amazing. I love the enemy designs in this game. <laughs> professor Saurus, that's amazing. Um, so stocking for you, ice fishing is more about. We did it, darlings hanging out with people than the fishing itself. That's pretty cool. Okay. Recipe book. Nice. Witch's hat, witch's robes, and wizard robes. Ooh. I wonder if those are actually better than what I previously made for Rab, Serena, and... Veronica. Okay, so the actual robe is not better. Good. But the witch's hat is better for Veronica. Yeah, we're making that right now because she's still wearing her default hat. Apex, who you play to get on ultimate? Um I would rec I would recommend doing new game plus on ultimate Apex. That's what I did and I really enjoyed it. I did New Game Plus on Ultimate, and it was harder, but having all of my abilities made it a bit easier too, though, so it, it wasn't too bad. That's what I would recommend, personally. If you're if you're enjoying the game and you still want to keep playing for Marvel Spider-Man, that's what I would recommend. Mm, we might need to stop here. 
Turned out really well. Yeah, it's a plus two. I'll take that. It's more chill than normal fishing. Interesting. So I guess because it's, it's more filled than normal, or it's more chill than normal fishing, because after you cut your one hole, you just hang out around your your one hole, right? So, so her magical mending goes down and her charm goes down, but her defense and magical might goes up. Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. Okay. Essentially, Levi. Nice. Okay. Okay. See, this is one of the other things I really like, like about streaming is that I get to chat with y'all about things that I would have never had a normal conversation about. Or I guess a conversation with anyone else in my life. Because no one in Texas... No, no one in Texas ice fishes. <laughs> so... I don't know. Oh! Oh! What is this? Statue man. A, a living statue. Cool. I'm assuming he'll have high physical defense, but let's find out. Yeah, 200 damage and he's still standing. 300 damage is down though. Okay, good. Is that in the movie, Phil? Yeah, Firefly, those are our commands. Let me know if you have any questions about our commands. Or our in-stream currency of gold. Right, we have... We do have gold, and we do have... Uh, our channel points are also active on the channel as well. Okay, we need to go to the middle there to hit that switch. But before we do, perfect, I wanted to look for more treasure. Oh, it's a mimic. Of course, it's a mimic. Statue man leave. Uh, AH? Yeah. He was rude. Uh, it's just an existing Texas. Okay. So, I feel like. I know. Ice skating in Texas is kind of odd. Because there are, like, pop-up spots, usually around malls, for ice skating. Um, like in the Galleria in Houston and different stuff. And I, and I guess, like, it makes sense because it's, like, a seasonal -like thing, but whatever. I don't know. Uh, Apex, I would agree with that, that Doc Ock is harder to beat. In Marvel Spider-Man, yes. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. He was the final boss of the game. So, I feel like he should be harder. Nice. Victory! Yeah, okay. Phil does have a point. Ice does technically exist in no northern Texas. Because in the panhandle, it straight up snows. In the panhandle of Texas. But I've actually never lived that far north before. I think the furthest north I've lived is Odessa, Texas. And that's not really that far north. It's more west. Okay, so I think what moved was on the lower level. Uh, sure, Apex, what you got? Okay, so I think if we go back down here, I think something open. Oh, we probably need to go down a different staircase. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Okay. AH, are you saying that there's people allergic to the snow that's present in Austin, Texas? Or that there's people in Austin, Texas that are allergic to snow in general?
people who are allergic to snow in Austin, Texas. Wait, Leva, are, are you actually suggesting that Texas takes over more of the United States? You know I'm for this. Texas is the best state after all. I am totally for taking making Texas bigger. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Uh Apex, that's not really a question. There are people in Austin, Texas who are allergic to snow. <sighs> I mean, I want to say I'm surprised by that, but because of how complicated the human body is and how weird the human body is and how we can decide to be allergic to almost anything, including sunlight, I guess it's not that far-fetched. You know what I mean? Oh, can we totally like walk down right here? No. But I can't touch this again. So there has to be a way down or a way up that I'm missing. What am I missing, chat? So a piece of wall moved. I thought the piece of wall moved was on the level below me, but I can't actually do anything on the level below me. If I go over here, this one leads out, right? Yep. This one leads out to here, but then it's just a dead end, unless there's another switch that I missed. There it is. Got it. Ha, <laughs> Phil, like, honestly, Phil, I probably couldn't drive in the snow. Because I've never... I've never driven in the snow before. So because of that, I'm going to say I don't know how to drive in the snow because I don't have the experience. I feel like that's fair. <laughs> I love how enemies run away from you when you're too high above their level. It's kind of fun. Um, I expect it to be on the PlayStation 5, Xbox... Project Scarlet, whatever. Whatever that next generation is, Apex. Yeah, I'm thinking that it'll end up being on... That console. It'll be on the next generation. Yeah. It won't, it won't be coming out this year for sure. Wait, AH, Florida is the only state where you, where the more northern you go, the southern it gets? Oh, you just meant like in general climate, not actual directions. Okay. I was trying to wrap my head around that, thinking you meant it was some kind of like paradox where you go up, but you actually go down. Yeah, I was about to be super confused. Slow and steady is all I need to know, Levi, for driving in the snow. I mean, I mean, I guess that's what all I could do, right? I mean, I wouldn't want to like try to drag race in the snow. I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. But you know, people do crazier things. Ooh, Simi, that's kind of scary. Hope y'all are okay. Plow trucks? I don't think I've ever even seen a plow truck in real life. I've seen like in the movies and stuff, so I know what a plow truck looks like, mm. but I don't think I've ever actually seen one in real life. Easy on the brakes. Don't uh -huh. overcorrect if this you're sliding. Okay. Indeed. Okay. 
It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Chat, we've been had. We've been had, chat. The beast that we killed? The witch's great beast? Was part of the enchantment? To seal the witch's magic. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunteth the nearby Hexwood to this day. And the book that the queen, we don't think we should, we don't know if she's actually the queen, was holding in town was probably the book that the witch was imprisoned in. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh, I'm glad you're a good city. It makes sense from coming oh, from where you came from. Tell me, what did this creature look like? It said Jor a lot. Hmm. <laughs> A rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Uh, how can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. Okay, we can't call us foolish if we didn't have all of the information. Queen Frizabel told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? But why would her majesty say such a thing? <laughs> Hashtag blame Simmy's husband. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the queen was reading when we first met her? Yes. Yes, it was. I thought it was one of the symbols this, that was on one of the magic doors, but it's why, not. Why? This is the sorcerer's seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the great library. Oh, of course it is. A.H., why do you wish you lived in Texas? Texas is a great state. I love it. But why do you want to be here? Simi, I know you're moving soon. Are y'all considering going to a mountainy place? Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the witch was sealed away in? What if... Oh no! We need to go back to Sniffleheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot. Also, did anybody get the joke in my title? Did, did anybody get that? I thought I was being really clever, but I'm not sure if anyone got it. TK said no. It's it's kind of it's kind of a niche joke. Sniffleheim's a pun on Niflheim. No, it doesn't have anything to do with Harry Potter. It has to do with God of War. In God of War, you visit Niflheim and uh, Musfelheim are two of the realms, I think they're called, that you go to. And Musfelheim and Sniflheim, I thought sounded familiar, so, you know, throw back to our God of War playthrough from literally a year ago. Yeah, no, it was a reach. <laughs> 